Hey gang, Trevor here. Today I want to show you how you can automatically send reminders out using formula based rules. So what that means is when I have a session, rather than my having to come to the sheet or having to pull up my email client and send a bunch of reminder emails, I'm going to have Formule through Google Sheets do that for me. So to start off, let's understand some concepts here. Every date can be displayed as a number. So for example, we see Tuesday, September 13th here is actually displayed as a number 42626. If we look at the formula that I've used here, so the date value, and this is how Google looks at dates. Today is also a date. Today is September 6th, so I'm recording this. 42619 would be that date. And if I subtract the two, we can see that there's a difference of seven days. So what I want to do is I want to be able to say, hey, you know what, when we get to about the six day point, I want an email to automatically get sent out. Now there's a column E here. I'm using that to set up a, uh, a statement that says, if today is less than six days, I want you to have a send reminder flag show up. And if not, just keep it at not yet. The formula we're using for that is this one here. So if A4, which is the session date, minus seven is less than today, then send a reminder out or not yet. Now, because I'm using the less than today, it's actually a, a six days. So it's gonna send out a notice six days beforehand. So anything that's over six days, is gonna display not yet. So tomorrow, when the sheet uh, goes through and checks itself, it's gonna say, hey, you know what, another day's gone by, it's now time to change this flag from not yet to send reminder. Rather than us wait a day, I'm just gonna change this date. And I'll just bring it back a date. And notice how it switched to send reminder. Within form, you will I have a form response that says, hey, when it gets to that date and you see send reminder, send out an email. So let's take a look at a form submission. So here's my form. I've got the person's name. I've used uh, pre-filled URLs to put in the session date and date and a session name. And we're just going to submit this information. So here's the data that's come into the form. Now you'll notice right now it's the send reminder still says not yet. I have sent an email out already confirming. So upon submission, the, the user gets an email saying, yep, you're a confirmed and here's the email and or sorry, the session and the date of the information that you've signed up for. So they get that first confirmation message. So this is going to stick to say not yet until the date flips back where it says send reminder. Now let's take a look at what Formule is doing. So I have two triggers going on here. One is the form submit, one is sending on a timer. And I like to do that as a good backup every time. These are my conditions or my two messages. So the first one is my confirmation message. Send it for all rows. Basically, I don't care. As soon as you submit it, you're going to get this email. The second one is the reminder. And notice it says if remind, send reminder question mark. So if that column cell equals send reminder, then you're going to use the email template called reminder, which is the confirmation message. And this is the message that's going to get sent out. We see the template name is reminder. We see the person's email address, dear Bill Bixby. And here's my whole message, taking into account the, the name of the session that they asked for and the date in bold. And if there's any other messages that I want as part of the template, and that will automatically send off on the day that that send reminder status changes from not yet to send reminder. Now, as far as the formula goes here, you can use copy down, which is a add on that will automatically copy and paste this formula every time a new submission gets entered. And that's how you can set up auto reminders using formula.